action is going to be on David this time. The blinds again at 12 and 24,000. Let's gamble. You like it? No. I, I down, it. finds 7 5 offsuit and folds. He fakes his hat, says, Let's gamble, then he throws his cards away. Here comes Antonio. He's got a 10 6 of diamonds. He's got about half the chips he started the day with, so things haven't gone his way so far. But he is pushing this pot with just a 10 6 of diamonds. Makes it 60,000 to go. Into Bill Gaze, who has a king 10 this time. Bill Gaze is sensing Antonio's making another move. Yeah. Well, he's not going to call it finally. Back around to Vinny, who's got the kids' game, AC Ducey, in his hand. All right. And he is going to raise it. And he's had enough. I'm letting 10 more. He really has a good read on Antonio, seems like to me. And here he's bet 170,000. Adam looks at a 6-7. He's going to throw it away. Mike going out. Now we're back around to Antonio. Not feeling too good right now. He just raised it with a 10-6. He got re-raised 110,000. Now Antonio knows he's been caught here a little bit, but he's been spanked earlier. What will he do this time? Raise. He's going to raise it. Oh, he's had enough. He's going to go all in here for all his money, Vince, with a 10-6. He has re-raised Vinny Vin, since a little weakness on his part. And indeed, Vinny is a little weak with an ace-deuce offsuit. A bold move by the magician, Antonio. Well, it's going to cost Vinny about another 437000 to call this bet. So Antonio has put him to the test here, Vince, for all his money. What a great, bold play and courageous move by Antonio. Whether it gets cold or not, you got to have a lot of heart to pull the trigger for all your money, where if the guy calls you and you lose, you're out in sixth place. Brilliant poker by both players. Just absolute brilliant reads. Can Vinny call this with just ace-deuce? It's going to cost him another $437,000 to call this bet. A tremendous amount to call here when you're looking at ace deuce offsuit folks you don't necessarily need cards to win this game just a lot of nerve and two words all in six hundred and seven thousand dollar all in bet on a 10 high look at this he's not going to call it he's nope. laying it down then he does lay it down let's see if antonio shows this absolute bluff Oh, he does turn it over to show the crowd. Oh, and he's going to give the poker wave. Yeah, the Antonio poker wave, folks. There you see it. And he just wants to tilt this man from Vietnam. Wow. <laughs> well, they should be waving back and saluting back, in fact, Vince, for that play. Oh, be proud, Antonio. You deserve it. All right, the price of poker is going up. $25,000 annies. Blinds are going to be $150,000, $300,000. And Gus has a premium hand here, King Jack of Hearts. Yep, he's got the Kojak suit. It comes in for $750,000. Right behind him, David Chu looks down at a Queen Four of Hearts. Well, he's going to defend, Vince. Sure. He's making the call here with the queen four hearts. Well, David better hope hearts don't flop out there. He could be in serious trouble. Oh, and it's a queen seven oh, deuce. Queens for David Chu. Well, nice flop for David. He's going to check here. And Gus does not make the continuation bet here. Well, that's something you don't see often. Turn card coming up. It's a four. Diamond's given Chu two pair. Again, David checks. Well, he is trying to reel Gus in here. Now, there is three diamonds out there. There's no way he's going to put Gus on a flush at this point. He would suspect that Gus would have bet a four flush on the flop had he had one. Is Gus going to bet into this here? He has nothing but a king jack, but he's going to fire at this pot. 900,000. He's betting with no hand and no draw. Now, you got to think David feels he's in front. You know, David's going to play this pot. The question is, do you just call here or just come over the top of Gus right now with the three diamonds out there? Just in fear another diamond might come off. You think he might just raise it here? 
Is he going to push? No, he's just calling. Well, he's just calling with two pair. No card. Gus Hansen can catch to win the pot. Here comes that river card. Nine of diamonds comes oh, off. And another diamond. Well, that is not the card that David wanted to see. He's going to check the two pair. And Gus hitting nothing here, but. Well, Vince, the only way Gus can win this pot is to bet at it. But he's got to recognize that when David called on the turn, he has something. He's either got one pair, two pair, or a flush draw. Had to have one of those hands to call the $900,000 bet. Gus has got to try to figure out which one. If he puts him on the pair or two pair, he might want to try to bluff at it with the four flush. If not, he'll just check it down and give up the pot. Just riffling his chips over there. In a predicament here. Over $3.3 million in this <laughs> pot. Fence, he is going to bet $2 million. Almost uncallable. What pressure Gus Hansen is putting on David Chu. Fence, he knows there's no way Gus is going to bet a pair or two pair. He's just going to check it down. Mm -hmm. He's either on a stone bluff or he's got the flush. There is no in between here. However, if he should make this call, got news for you. He'd be the new chip leader. He's, he's making the call. Oh. No. Take me out there. Man. Boy, oh boy, got us both excited. Look at Gus, he's doing this little tic-tac-toe thing. Well, he's just ignoring him. Well, Zen moves. He did not change from playing that little game even when David Chu was acting like he was calling. Well, David Chu shaking his head no, chastising himself for not betting on the flop and raising on the turn. Because look at the predicament he's got himself into now. Sorry, guys. No problem. See, that's nice. I like a man when he takes a lot of time says sorry. He has consideration that there's a lot of time. Well, Vince, he wants Gus to look up at him, but Gus is not doing it. He's just playing his little game over there. I'm not interested. I don't care game. What is that? That's Gus's game right now. With the chips. <laughs> and if David lays this hand down, Gus Hansen will win a pot that he had no business winning whatsoever. Oh, David man. lays down the best hand. He gave Gus credit for having a flush there. Give Gus Hansen credit there. He not only fired on the turn, he had the moxie to fire two million more at the river to pick up that pot on a bluff. He told you to fold. He even build the thrill didn't pull it. And where do you want from him? All right, man, I'm calling clock on you too, man. Don't worry about it. Well, there you see, Vince. Moon upset that long. the guy called the clock on him. Felt like he made him rush the decision, and he made the wrong one. El Paya. He's targeting El Paya now. He's getting Moon Kim to tilt a little bit. With the clock being called, back to the action. A few folds. And it's folded around to El Paya, and he picks up Ace King. Big hand here. On the button. Going to raise it up, makes it 65,000 to go. You know, Joe Sirock, who is in the small blind, has a jack 10. Does he want to invest a little bit more? That's the easy going skateboarder. Yeah, he loves to skateboard. So I'm skateboarding around the parking lot before this final table starts. I love that. Stay loose. He says he has no particular home, he just travels the world. I was thinking about three betting here or folding, but no, he's just going to call. And now Moon Kim. With a jack eight. Well, he's making the call also. Yep. So three-way action here. El Paya out in front with the ace king. And here comes the first three. Oh, it's ace, nine, deuce. Beautiful for El Paya. Hitting aces with a king kicker. A dream flop for El Paya there. No straight draw, no flush draw really out there. They both check in front of him, and El Paya with the continuation bet of 80,000. And Ciroc now goes out. Oh, and look at this. Moon is check raising here, Vince. I think he is steaming because the guy called the clock on him the last hand. Well, you could be right. He's taking a shot here, saying maybe that was just a continuation bet by Alpaya. I'm going to find out where I am, but Alpaya, of course, going to stick around. Aces with top kicker makes the call. Turn card coming up. And four comes up on the turn. Nothing card. Moon Kim's going to try it again. 
quickly bets 200,000. You would think he would learn your lesson, though, when the guy calls you on the flop. Maybe not. Uh, El Paya is afraid he flopped aces and deuces or aces and nines, possibly even three deuces. But still, I don't see you going anywhere here with Ace King. El well, Paya doesn't have that many oh. chips left, and he's going to make this call very strong, very solid. River card is. Now seven of diamonds comes off. Safe card. So a nothing card comes up. Oh boy. Moon Kim with tilt chips, it appears. Those are hundred thousand dollar plaques he's putting out there. And he's essentially setting El Paya all in right here. With absolute zip and pip. And El Paya is squirming. A deuces? Well, Vance, he's a pro player. He's got to understand that this guy was angry the hand before when he called the clock. He's just trying to get him back here now. If he's got you beat, he's just got you beat. I don't see how you can lay this hand down under the circumstances of what just happened. He got aces with the king kicker. You pay that off, but you can't fold his hand. You just don't think amateurs are going to make bluffs at you for this size. He shows it, and he's going to let it go. And Moon Kim is going to show the bluff. Not a good sword. I got bluff, boys. He's going to put the salt in the wound. Stone bluff by the Moon Man. Oh, man, the moon went for the total eclipse, and it paid off. Well, Vance, El Paya made a mistake there. He lost control of the hand and let the guy who was angry at him bluff him out of a pot. Let's go to the felt. 350. Action on Jonathan. King seven makes it 350 to go. Oh, it just continues here for Wrath. The roll I'm talking about in terms of picking up hands. Here he's got two jacks. Raise. And he is going to three bet it. 975,000 now the bet. And Jonathan's got to wonder what's going on. He says, I never seem to win a pot heads up with this guy. But he will call mm -hmm. this. King seven of spades up against jacks. And flop comes ace four deuce. Neither player happy to see the ace. But Roth with the jacks gonna bet. 625. Yeah, makes the continuation bet. Jonathan is gonna make the call here, Vince. No hand, no draw. It's just a float. Perhaps he's gonna try to steal it later on. Now the eight of hearts comes off. This gives Wrath a flush draw to go along with his jacks, and it goes check, check. And now a ten of spade on the river. Roth just not trusting that his opponent, maybe he has an ace, he's thinking he checks again. 1.205. And now the nice strong bet with nothing by Jonathan. And the bet is 1.2 million. And Roth looking very uncomfortable. He's going to muck this. Wow. Jonathan is going to show the hand. Nice side. He has just taken out his pocket knife, cut him open, and poured the salt shaker into it. Still got to fold my hand. Beautifully done. That'll make the flying saucer tilt as it's orbiting the Earth, I'll tell you that. OK, the Andes are up to 50,000. Blinds are 150 and 300,000. Action on Roth from Toronto. He's only 24. He's got a king six this time. He makes it 700,000 to go here. Jonathan going to make the call here with the seven six. Wants to see a flop. Now flop comes king jack deuce. Roth has hit the pair of kings. 450. And Jonathan with just seven high will make a bet. Plunge away at 450. Wow, well, he's going to lead right out into the pre-flop razor here. But that's not going to work. As Ratherham has top pair, as you can see. And he's just going to call the 450. Figures Jonathan might be on a straight draw or a flush draw. Want to see what comes off here. Well, a deuce comes off. Jonathan has checked. Yep, Roth is going to bet it. Yep, 950,000. 1.4 on top. What the heck is going on? He has check raised with seven high, folks. 
1.4 million on top. <laughs> this might not bode well for him. Oh. Rathram has made the call here with Kings up. So we are going to the river. River card coming up. Let's see what happens. It's a queen of hearts. So Jonathan hitting none of that. Just has seven high. Will he continue his fluff and puff show? 2.6. Oh, yes. He's going to do it. You got to like this. And a healthy bet of 2.6 million. You got to appreciate the guts of the man has. And we know, of course, Roth has top pair. Bad kicker. But he put the queen there. Got two pair, and they share the queen kicker. Well, Vince, the check raise on the turn. You're just scared. Right. Your opponent's got ace king. Oh, wow. Even two aces. He's going to lay this down. You show yours, I show mine. You do one for one. Oh, you I don't, don't want to see it again. All right, that one. Uh, this one? Yeah. Ah, uh, that one. Whichever one he shows him, he knows he laid down the best hand. He's bluffing. He's bluffing again. Back to Mark. Wow. Okay, now he's got the big hand. Ace king. Makes it 90,000, and Dennis ace four behind him. And he's reaching for raising chips, which I'm not a fan of. This is problematic, Vince, because he's gone so small, his opponent is getting the correct price to call with anything in position, and you have a hand that doesn't really play very well post-flop. A lot of players would come back over the top with the ace-king, but no, Mark content just to call it, hoping to get lucky on the flop. Queen, eight, three on the flop. Not a great flop for either player. Dennis gonna put out a bet, 235. Mark has too much hand here. Plus, his hand is underrepresented by just calling the three bet pre flop on the button. So he's going to continue. Turn card is another queen. Dennis still with nothing, just a little ace high with a bad kicker. This might work, but this bet seems crazy to me. Your opponent can have all of the queens. He's not folding an eight, he's not folding any pairs to you. If he's got like 9, 10, or Jack 10, he still might call you and try and bluff the river. I'm really just not a fan of this one, Vince. Well, he's bet 560. Action clock ticking down, putting the pressure on the Irishman, and he's going to get the chips out and make this call. And it just goes to show if you're bluffing with Hayes High and your opponent won't fold Ace High, you've picked the wrong spot to bluff. River guard Dennis sickened about this, hoping to get something. No, 10 on the river. So neither player with a pair. Does Dennis give up the betting? That's not a good card for Dennis. A lot of the hands that we'll call twice with might have like 9-10, Jack-10, maybe with the backdoor flush draw, of course, 10 of hearts makes that impossible. Dennis is checked. And wow, it's a 650 bet into Dennis. Mark seems concerned that, well, maybe my opponent has some kind of weird pair that he got to the river with. I don't want to let him show that down. I'm not sure this is exactly the hand I turn into a bluff, but I don't hate what he's doing here. What if Dennis check raises? That would be so nasty. I'm all in. Oh, wow. Oh, quick fold by Mark. Oh, Mark getting so punished for betting that river. And Dennis tables it. Crowd goes wild, and how could they not? Ace high. Play of the season so far. Incredible. Dennis Blind looking good right here. Hey, the Andes are going up to 10,000. Blinds are 30 and 60. Back on Glenn. Father of two. And he's going to fold his hand. And Uncle Rocco has two deuces on the button. Getting out raising chips. Yes, he's going to make it 160 to go. And let's take a look oh. at Chris. He's got queens. Unbelievable. Beautiful hand. I think he's raised this guy just about every time he's coming to pot. Sometimes he has a hand, sometimes he doesn't. This time he does. And he's going to make it 420,000 to go. Patrick frustrated. Can't get in cheap with his ace three of clubs. Folds the hand. So back on Michael Rocco. Former chip leader. 
He's going to call. He's investing. He hopes to get lucky. Here we are. Most of the chips Rocco's lost have been to Mormon. Good flop for Chris Mormon with the overpair, but he's going to check it. And Rocco checks right behind him. Don't want to fall into any traps, which he would have. Now a nine comes off. Now Chris is going to reach for chips. He'd like to have his old rival really pay him off. And right now he's betting 455. He's got to be feeling pretty good, but no more because look at this Michael Rocco making a play, going to 1.5 million. Incredible. Well, Chris Mormon, who three bet before the flop and then checked on the flop of 10 high, which is a little strange. Now he's going to make the call here. Yeah, good solid call. Huge pot going to the river. It's an ace of hearts. Well, neither player going to like to see that card. Fearful the other guy's got an ace in his hand. Mormon going to check. Now what do you do if you're Michael? It would take such boldness to continue the larceny. Wow. Just check it down and know that you're probably beat. When you take a stab at another bluff, this is, takes a lot of bravery to stick those chips in. That's exactly what he's going to do. Wow. And he's put almost all his chips in this pot on a bluff. 2.1 million. This is a very bold bet. And if you're in Mormon seat, this is a very tough call to make, folks. You're fearful your opponent's made something like ace nine. Where he's got aces up now. That would be the call of the year, but so difficult to make. They have to manipulate it on the turn. And now the river, it's going to work for Michael Rockle. What a move. He outplayed him there, no doubt about it. And he is back in a big way. He gave the nod to signal. I outplayed this guy. He is loving it. Back to the action, yeah, yeah. Aaron Queskin. Ace 10. Yeah, Gonna go to 250. And Freddie picks up King Queen behind him. And the thorn in his side all night long at this final table has been Freddie. I don't think Aaron's beat Freddie a pot yet. Freddie in position, gotta make the call. Mike gonna make the call out of the small blind, and all of a sudden Brent says. Hey, all that money out there. Let me call this small raise. Four-way action in a raise pot. You just don't see it very often at a final table. And here we go with the flop. It's an ace, 10, nine. Well, just a great flop there for Aaron as he flopped top two pair, but action is on Mike as he flopped top pair. He's gonna check, Brent's gonna check. And Aaron though, top two pair. Aaron Certainly going to bet his two pair. 400,000. Freddie with a gut shot straight throw going to make the call. Mike has top pair. What does he do? He's going to call also. Brent says, let me get out of this <laughs> quickly. Quagmire. All right, let's see what happens on this turn. It's Ooh, eight of spades. Yeah. That's a real scare card for all three players. Possible straight, possible flush. Mike's checking again. Aaron's slowing down with the check. And he checks the top two pair there. No one very easy. One of these guys could have possibly made a straight or a flush. Oh, look at this. Freddie's going to stab with it. He's going to make a bet of 1.2 million. That's a pretty good sized bet, Vance. He's got Mike out. But I don't see Aaron going anywhere with top two pair. He understands that Freddie could have made a straight or a flush. But still, top two pair. In a four-handed poker game, pretty good hand. He's going to make the call here. So Freddie D must catch a jack to win this pot, at least with the best hand. Let's see if he does it. No. Miserable deuce shows up. Aaron's going to check again. Well, Freddie knows the only way he can win this pot is to bet at it. But I'm not sure that's going to win it for him, as his opponent has top two pair. I just don't see it happening. But Freddie's going to give it the grand old try. He's getting out a lot of chips here, Vince. 1.7. Wow. 1.7 million is the bet. Well, Aaron has lost every pot tonight to Freddie Deeb. Got to be shell shocked by the guy. Does he want to give him another 1.7 million here, at least in his mind? Freddie could easily have a jack queen here the way this hand was played. 
There's straights out there. There's flushes out there. He and look at that. the top two pair. Yep. Freddie shows him the block. And Aaron gets up to go throw up, I believe. <laughs> that time you knew I was bluffing, huh? Uh, you knew I was Freddie bluffing, huh? Freddie Dean relishing in the win. Yeah. Call the top two, With Freddie. the bluff, beautifully done. David with a nice little 6-5 at diamonds, just calling. And Modis with a king-10. He's going to raise to 275. Gets the call by Baker. Here we go with the flop. It is a king-queen-5. Modis with kings. David with fives. Modest will continue with a 375 bet. Great flop for Modest, of course. He's got backdoor draws to go along with his top pair. David will make the call with bottom pair. And we see a king of diamonds on the turn, so trips for Modest. And a dangerous card for David, because it actually makes his hand a little stronger. And not strong enough to lead out, though. This is a curious, and I would say ambitious bet wow he is betting 550 with just the fives pretending like he has a king or something Come on. we know modest has the king and so he just walks the dog and makes the call big pot brewing and the river card coming up and it's an ace david is going to check it 900. Modest, of course, with three of a kind, is going to put in a value bet of 900. You would think it's going to be quitting time here for David. I would assume so. But he is counting out chips, and it oh, looks no. like a raise He's coming in kidding. here. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Wow. He has gone over the top. A total of 2.4. That's a 1.5 million raise, and this huh. is very interesting. What a strange spot for Modest. Not only does he have trips, but he has the 10 of hearts that blocks the Jack-10 straight for David. And he likely thinks that David isn't limping the small blind with ace-king or pocket-queens all that frequently. But he knows David could have king-queen or king-five. more time. This is a big moment. And I'll tell you something, if he makes this call, it would cripple David Baker. Well, the tension is thick in this arena. He'll be the hero, but he's going to throw it away. David Baker gets away with it. David Baker super proud of himself after that one. Absolutely. That is the bluff of the week. Beautifully done. Foul bluff. Yes, sir. Modest has shown me the bluff. No, you're going to have to wait to see it. Now getting back to this hand right now, Joe Wynn's going to quickly raise with ace, six of diamonds. Up to 175 to go. Paul out. And now Kai Chang with a King Jack offsuit is making the call. Here we go with the flop. Well, flop is queen, queen, eight, two clubs. No help to either player. Kai's going to check. And Joe, the telephone man, going to check as well behind him. And now the four clubs comes off. Wow, three clubs out there. I notice Kai looked down at his hand. And that's a tell that a guy's looking to see if he had a club in his hand. And he does. But it doesn't stop Joe Wynn from betting. Yep, 225,000 with just ace high. But Kai has seen that he does have a pretty good club up there, and he's going to make this call. We're going to the river. 
river is a four pairs the board again so joe out in front two pair with ace kicker against two pair with king kicker kai is checking again joe's gonna bet yeah, joe gonna bet three hundred twenty-five thousand here and he'd like to get paid off with the guy with just king high wow but kai has different thoughts he's gonna raise this wow He's bet it up to 825,000. Now, do you want to just call with two pair in the ace kicker here? Do you really think the guy's got a full house? All right. Wow, he is re-raising. I don't understand this. Pretty aggressive. A testosterone contest. Ooh. Amazing, Joe is going to re-raise. Says, I don't think you have much. And now Kai, with just the king high, what is he gonna do? Oh man, no say it ain't so. 2.3 million he's back in here. Over the top, he's just saying, I think you have nothing. Here you go. Wow. Just incredible poker we're watching here. Well, I mean, it's just very difficult to call here without a queen in your hand. It's impossible. I mean, Joe virtually shut himself out of this spot when he raised last time. He should have just called when the guy bet 800,000 with the ace high. Perfect read by Kai Chang. And wow. he's going to show it. And it doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> What a play by Kai Chang this right is just there. Amazing. That is playing some poker. Well, that's the play of the wow. week. Wow. No doubt about it. He has just bluffed the steam right out of this room. Kai Chang with a super bluff right there. Face, let's go to the table. It's going to be on him. This time, got a 7 5 offsuit. Well, that's very obvious. Call. He hasn't seen a hand he didn't like in this heads up battle. He limps in and calls here with the seven high. And Isaac right behind him with the three deuce of diamonds. No, he's not going to raise. So finally we get to breathe. No raise before the flop, and here it comes. Well, flop comes ace, queen four with two hearts. Isaac with the wheel draw. Yeah, he's checked it. And now Ryan, who hit nothing there, is getting chips out, betting on position. And he's going to bet 300,000 here. Call. And, and he's quickly called. Well, King of Diamonds comes off now. Helps neither player. Isaac is checked. Now will Ryan fire once again with his nothing hand? No, slows down. So off to the river we go. Well, the Queen of Clubs comes off. As the cards lie, Ryan's got the best hand with the seven high. 700,000. And he bets 700,000. Well, Vince, the only way Isaac can win this pot is to bet at it. He's got the worst two cards you could have right now, deuce and a three, and he's taking a stab at it for 700,000. Raise. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Ryan, with almost as bad a hand, says raise. Well, this is incredible. Vince, he thinks he's stealing the pot. Ironically, he's got the best hand with the seven high here. But he doesn't know it. And look at this. He is raising it, going to make it $2 million <laughs> with absolute Garfunkel. What an amazing raise this is. Well, he's raised it $1.3 million. And right now, Isaac has a migraine headache. Oh. <laughs> Ryan Doubt, you know, it's like Isaac's cards are turned face up on the board. The way Ryan's playing him, Vince, incredible. And Isaac sickened. Well, he puts his head down like he's sick to his stomach, and I don't blame him. He took a stab at this pot, and the guy raised him to two million, and he has absolutely nothing. Uh, but he hasn't mucked yet. I mean, the only ridiculous chance he would have to do something like go over the top, please don't start that. He's got the worst two cards you could have at this moment. Ryan now saying, what's going on? Why is he taking so long? Re-raise all in. Oh, no, he's going to go all in. Wow, Vince, he's done it. He's pulled the trigger oh, for no. all his chips. And there's no way Ryan can call him. No. Ryan was bluffing himself with a seven eye. Oh. And look at this. Isaac's going to show the hand. Oh, he's going to put some salt in the wound. Wow. Isaac Haxton bluffed him completely, Vince. He moved all in with a deuce three, the worst two cards you could be holding in that spot. What a play by Isaac Haxton there. You're gonna, you're gonna like when that's on TV. If you enjoyed that video, we've got heaps more on our YouTube channel, so check that out and hit the subscribe button for all our new uploads. And for on-demand access to every World Poker Tour episode since season one, check out clubwpt.com.